welcome to my youtube channel so today we'll be learning how to make a laptop cake the cake is already covered with fondant but we've not yet made the laptop cake so to make a laptop cake you get a board a square shaped board something that you can place here it's an open laptop we are doing okay so a square shaped board that was going to fit almost the same size as your cake okay now i already covered it with fondant before i started the video but see the back I'm yet to cover the back so i'm going to need another fondant and then cover the back okay okay so i'm done needing it i'm just going to put this part of it on it like this okay so this is my brush and then this is water just normal water i'm going to use it to glue it don't forget this stuff i already did this stuff before i started the video i forgot using water to create. Let it dry. Okay, so this is my board. Covered with fondant. Okay, so this is going to be I printed something out. What is it? Okay, so this is what I printed out. This is, you know, I'm making this as the desktop as the screen of the laptop so i printed this out this is shama and this is happy birthday mon amo shama is my friend's boyfriend so i'm going to put it here but then i have to measure it first before I, so i can know what i'm doing so i'm going to take it and put it where's my back see this is my back okay So I'm measuring it, so this is where it is, this is where this coin starts from, okay, so I'm going to, because the paper, this, what we printed out, this is just normal glossy paper printing, what we printed out is, uh, what is the line I marked just now, I can't see any line again though, okay, I've seen the, I've seen the line now, so thin. Okay, so I'm gonna put it like this. So I'm going to use my scissors and I've gotten the size of this, but the people that went to print they didn't carry they did not carry this board, so they just went to print any size. I was telling them to print around um, 10 inches because I felt like this was 10 inches, but then I don't know what they went to print. So I'm going to cut this side that has the folder off. Okay, so now I'm going to place this. I'm also going to use water to attach it. Okay, guys, so I've attached the picture to it. And then I don't know if I can turn the back. Okay, let me let's just attach it now to the this thing. We're still gonna use water to attach it. Okay. So this is it. This is my water.
my desktop. Um, I want to put in this Apple uh, printer. I'll put it to the back of the laptop. You know, these have their logo at the back here. So I'll just attach it to the back. So I just want to cut it out. Okay, there's already cut out here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still going to use water to attach it. Everything I'm using is just water. I'm not using chemical, I'm not using glue whatsoever. So, see me just at the needle here. Yeah? Just at the needle here. Yeah? Okay, so I've attached for there. I'm thinking of attaching to the sides. That's yeah, this side, and then this other side. What do you guys think? So I'm asking you, people, like, if you can answer me, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and attach to the sides also. Okay, so this is it. Laptop cake is coming in place, but I'm really tired. This is the cake, it's coming in place, but I'm tired, I'm getting really tired. So, the next part is here where we'll put the keyboard. I printed out a keyboard, this is just paper. But then, what you are supposed to you can also do is you take your fondant, you roll, you cut into shape of keyboard cut into shape of keyboard this is a shape of keyboard you use your edible marker this is black edible marker so you can just name this right x here showing that this is the x you know keyboard this is w k when you do it you now start putting it arranging it one by one and everything till you get your full complete keyboard but that's going to stress me and i've been baking since last night you may not have seen my other vlog where i'm baking this i've been baking since last night so i don't know if i have the strength to start knitting fondant and cutting one by one and everything so if you're as lazy as me although that one will be fine now but right now i'm so tired <laughs> this lazy ass is tired so for me, I'm really tired. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to place my keyboard. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to call up. I'm going to, sorry, I didn't say call. I'm going to use water to attach it. So. Don't be angry. I just don't have strength. I'm really tired. Really tired. Even the board. See the way, see the way I covered my board. My board is usually very finer than this when I cover my board. Maybe if I have strength, so I can do that. But that thing is going to take a lot of time. So I'll start cutting one by one and writing the alphabet one after the other. Let me just clear this, please. Okay. So. Something like this, the control key, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
लिए I'm so tired and my phone storage is full. I've deleted and deleted. Just tired. So that right click and left click. I just want to cut. I'm not cutting it out, so I'm just going to put a, a sharp line to show that oh we have a right click button and a left click button. Did I see it? I didn't see it. Right click and left click. So I'm also going to use water to attach this. To make this more colorful, I would have used a black um this thing to go around it. But I'm too tired. Guys, I know this is not the tutorial you want to see, but <laughs> so I'm lazy and So the cake's coming in place now. <sighs> Holy ghost. Cake. Let me just give you a spin of how the cake looks like. See our cake. See our cake. Uh -huh. So this is how our cake looks like. So I'll, I'm just gonna give you a rundown, a run through, a rundown, any which way of how I got, how I achieved this. Um, this is a square shaped cake. You can use a rectangular cake too if you want to. This is a square shaped cake. I baked it and I covered it. So there's a video of where I covered this cake using fondant and I got my sharp edge. So I covered it and then I put it on top of the board and then I covered the board too. So this is another board. This one you see here which is acting as the cover, the laptop cover is a square shaped board, board, cake board. So I cover the board back and front. And then this here, which is acting as a screen of the laptop, is a paper note that I print. I went to the server cafe, I told them I want to print. I gave them my um, this thing, told them what I want, and then they printed it out for me. It's called glossy paper. So if you want to print it, you want to print using glossy paper. And I printed it out and then I used water. I didn't use glue, I didn't use any chemical whatsoever. I used water to attach it to the board, to the fondant. Then here also is the iPhone is the yeah, iPhone this is Apple Apple logo. So I used water also to attach it to the back and attach to the sides too. Then for the keyboard, it's also paper. Like I said, you could as well print and write and I mean you could as well cut it. And then we write things small, small, but I honestly do not have the strength for that. So I just printed out. And this is it, guys. I'm really tired. Sorry that my video is looking like this. If you watch my other videos, you will know that I'm actually much more of a better teacher than I'm doing right now. I I can tutor well about cake more than I'm doing right now. I'm just really tired. I've been standing since morning, I've been baking, and um, I am. I'm at my elastic limit then if you see this to say I've gotten to our breaking point elastic limit that's yeah I'm, I'm really tired I don't want to go and bait and like that my kitchen is a mess I don't want to think I can arrange it today because I'm really really tired so thank you for watching this video I hope I explained this how I achieved this as most as much as I can and please don't forget to like this video subscribe to this channel Thank you. Bye. Kisses. Mm.